Okay guys, so it's Wednesday the 19th. <laughs> Ethan started school on Monday and it's all been remote learning so far. His campus doesn't open up until until September 9th or 8th, the day after Labor Day. I think it's the 8th. That's when his campus opens back up. So this week has been crazy. So that's why I'm getting a late start to my vlogging week. Or yeah, vlogging my week. But you guys, yesterday was laundry day. That was a struggle. Monday was a struggle because we thought Ethan was getting COVID, but he wasn't. So thank goodness for that. But my goodness, it's been a crazy week already. So I'm about to fix my hair and I want to try to film a makeup video. I might have to do a voiceover because, like I said, I have Ethan set up right there next to my desk. So after I'm done editing this video, um, I'll try to film the makeup video. That video shouldn't take long because it's just a clothing haul. But um, other than that, we got to try to hurry up because Ethan's on his lunch break right now. He has till 11.50, so... I might film and then edit just to try to get this makeup out of the way. And if I need to talk, I'm able to talk. But yeah, so yeah, I'm about to fix my hair and then we'll see what I do after that. <laughs> oh yeah, and also today is a rest day for me because y'all, my body is so sore. It's not really a rest day. I'm going to do like some stretching videos, which is basically like, which is basically like yoga. So that's what I'm going to do later on in the day. I like to do that at the end of the day, just to unwind my body. Or I'll probably do it as soon as Ethan's done with school at 2.50. I'll do my little workout at 3. And yeah, I've had to, I had gave myself a schedule for where my work hours, but now I'm having to adjust my work hours. So yeah, I'm pretty much just, my day has to be done by 4 o'clock. So I have to be done working by 4 o'clock today. So yeah, let's do my hair. Y'all ever have a vision in your head of how your hair should look and then it just won't cooperate? Woosa. Woosa. As you've seen, Ethan loves <laughs> doing school online, but this mama does not love it because I can't get any work done done and my sleep still won't adjust to whenever I want to wake up. But we are going to go ahead and get this dinner started. So it's just going to be a little crock pot meal, you guys. So we're going to go ahead and get this started. It should be done by 6.30, 7 at the latest. So 
let's go ahead and get this thrown into the crock pot. And I just found this recipe. I just found this recipe on Pinterest. So I'll link it down below if you have a slow cooker and want to try it. So you need diced tomatoes. It tells you to make your own, but because I'm being super extra lazy today, I'm gonna just add one of these packs of taco seasoning. And then I'm gonna add salt, pepper, or pepper and salt. And then I'm gonna use some garlic powder, some onion powder, and some of this rice seasoning since it is going to include rice. So you will also need um, brown rice for this one. So it calls for chicken broth and I thought I had chicken broth, but all I have is beef broth. So I'm gonna go ahead and use some beef broth. Make rice and some popcorn. Cooking fail, I just spilt and garlic powder all over the floor. Annoying. Mom hack, even though Bryson would eat the whole bowl of popcorn or the whole bag of popcorn, I like to pour it in bowls in multiple servings because it limits the mess that he will make on the carpet. So he might not even make a mess since I'm giving it to him in a bowl. Had I gave him the whole bag, there'd be a disaster of popcorn I'd have to sweep up. Okay, so, so obviously for our chicken rice taco bowls, you need chicken. Let me grab some gloves, y'all. Okay, you will also need, sorry guys, one can of black beans. I like to get everything low sodium or no salt added. Even though I cook with very little amounts of pink Himalayan salt, just sodium helps you retain water. You can have a lot of water weight. Water puts a lot of pressure on your joints and everything like that. So yes, being hydrated is good, but sodium holding on to all that water and the swelling is not good. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to take our chicken and it calls for two pounds or one to one and a half pounds, sorry, of chicken. These are really big chicken breasts, y'all. So then now that the chicken is in there, I can take my gloves off. I do not like touching raw meat. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and add the tomatoes, the broth and all of the seasonings. Okay, so with the tomatoes, you have to add their juices and the tomatoes. So we're not going to drain the juice from the tomatoes. Okay, now you add your broth, which is one cup, one cup of broth. So one cup of broth. And now, and now we add all of our seasonings, you guys. So I'm gonna add pink Himalayan salt. We're going to add the black pepper. garlic powder. Oh, crap. Well, that's going to be extra garlicky onion powder. Wow. It's going to be extra seasoning. The Spanish rice seasoning. Oh, my lamsa. That garlic powder is just giving me the blues today. Okay, and now I am going to open this up and add all of the taco seasoning. And I'm gonna try to mix this around just because garlic powder. So I'm just gonna take this, I'm gonna try to just throw that garlic powder into the sauce. Just kind of mix it. That was so much garlic powder. Yeah, so we're just mixing this, you guys. Try to clean up the edges so the seasonings around the edges don't burn. And then it's hard to wash your crock pot. Wow, that was so much garlic powder. <laughs> okay, so we're just gonna leave this right here with the, um, we're gonna leave these, hold on, let me clean up. Okay, so that is it for right now. In three hours, we will come back and we will add the, we will add the beans, the corn, and the rice. So in three hours, we'll come back and add these ingredients. But for right now, this is going to cook on low 
for three hours, three to four hours. So at four o'clock, we'll come add that back. Oh man, that was funny. That garlic powder was out to get me from the beginning. So I'm gonna just go ahead and edit and then I'll probably film once Ethan's done with class. So it's probably gonna be my best bet because I don't have very many videos filmed for next week. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and edit right now. Hey guys, so I have no idea when my phone stopped recording me working and Ethan doing school because I was going to do a time lapse of that. But that's pretty much what it's been for since I put that food in the crock pot. Like that's all that's been. I did go and stir the food at 3 o'clock. I just stirred it. I'm going to be adding the rice here in 10 minutes. But yeah, I'm just laying down resting. I'm going to add the rice at 4 the food will be ready by seven. And yeah, so I'm just laying here trying to take a little break and just chilling, watching some YouTube. This is usually, like this week, this is what my routine has been. Like stay up all day, try to work all day while Ethan's doing school, try to work, take care of the other kids. And then I lay them all down at three o'clock and I rest. So yeah, that is what it has been. So I'm literally just chilling in my room, TV off, uploading a video cause it was clock out time. And yeah, just here resting. So I'll show you guys whenever I go to add the rice and the beans to the crock pot. Okay guys, so it is workout time. It is 6.25. I'm gonna go ahead and do my original 30 minute workout cause you know, once I get in the groove of working out, like it just doesn't feel right unless I keep working out and doing what I planned and motivated myself to do. So I'm about to put on a shirt. I'm about to put on a shirt and I did upper body yesterday. So I did abs, arms, back, shoulders, all of that. So I think I'm gonna do lower body today. So yeah, time to get it.
glad I did that. I burned, let me see, still burning calories. 320 calories, 244 active so far. I don't ever stop my workout until my heart rate slows down to see how many calories I burned. Let's go check on this food. I didn't get the chance to tell y'all, show y'all me putting the rice and beans because I was on FaceTime with my sisters. Y'all look at Ethan do these ab rollers. Good job. Wow, you're so strong. So we're just gonna go ahead and turn it off because it's seven. It's been in here for roughly seven and a half hours or six and a half hours. Man, this is man. Should have asked my cousin to grab some. Should have asked my cousin. Ooh, look at that chicken, y'all. I can cut it with a spatula. What? Oh, y'all can't even see. My bad. My B, my B. Look at this. Where's the camera at? There we go. Look at this, y'all. I can cut this chicken with the spatula. What? Okay, okay. Like I said, I'll link the recipe down below, but you guys also saw all the seasonings I added. Ew. Look at that. It's just shredding. Ethan, you're going to eat this or you won't eat at all. All right, y'all. So this is this is Brian's bowl. Got some cheese, some salsa, jalapenos, green onion, and I'm about to serve my man. Okay, you guys. And this is my bowl. I just put sour cream, bean, onions, and salsa on mine with some cheese. Heat it up a little bit. Mm. Alright guys, so I'm calling it a night. I just finished cleaning the main area of the house with the kitchen and the living room. And so I'm about to take a shower and call it a night. And I'm going to be using one of these things in my shower. I've already gone through two. Using the unwind one because after this week already, it's it's, it's been a rough one. So, even though it's Wednesday, I need to unwind already. So, it's time for bed. Say goodnight. You are not shy. Say goodnight. Good morning. Well, good morning, guys. Good morning, guys. So, it's currently 8, 17, something like that. So, we're going to get up. Yeah, I'm perfect on timing. Every day, my body wakes up like five minutes earlier. So on Monday, I had to get up at 7.30 because I had to take him to the doctor. So that was already set. Like I had to, Brian woke me up that day. But my body on its own on Tuesday, I woke up at 7.55. Yesterday, I woke up at 7.50. Today, I woke up at 7.45. But I laid in bed because I was tossing and turning all night. And then I just finished paying all the bills and building up our savings account. And so... Now I'm gonna get Ethan up, dressed and fed and ready for school. I'm gonna get myself with my teeth brushed and all that stuff. I'm not working out today because I feel like I've strained my back because every night that I go to bed, it hurts really bad. But the weird thing is, after I work out, it doesn't hurt. So I think I'll still do a couple of stretching videos, but I'm not gonna do anything major. Probably do some back stretching videos. So that'll be my workout today for real, for real today because that back pain ain't, ain't the business. But I gotta go, King's all snot faced and I need to get up and get ready, get us ready. Hey guys, so Ethan is actually having his first break right now. So he's in the room playing with the boys until his next class starts. So I'm finally going to start on my reading and writing of the word and then I'm going to go ahead and do my workout after this because usually like I'll just be listening while like so while he's doing class I have him on like a Bluetooth speaker so I can hear the teacher if I need to help him get to anywhere on the tablet but I'm always in the same room with him so yeah we're really going to try to get some filming done today I don't know if I should film or edit I might just edit because I really need to get tomorrow's vlog up but other than that I'm about to do my reading, write the word, and then I just heard Ethan's teacher 
sign on so yeah time to do some reading and writing hey guys i don't i don't remember what the last thing was that i showed you guys but it's currently 3 36 ethan gets done with class about 2 45 2 50 so as soon as he was done with class he was like mom i'm gonna go take a nap and i was like baby i don't blame you because i was sitting here falling asleep helping you but he actually did really good in class today we had a rough start to the day but then he did super good so the other two are up from their nap so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to give them their snack. Ethan and I, I ate a pack of beef jerky and a bag of Cheetos earlier with Ethan whenever he had his snack, which was Doritos and a bag of Rice Krispies and a, not a bag, it was a bag, it was a, and all of these are like the smaller individual size bags. So he had a bag of Doritos and then a Rice Krispie treat. Not usually what I would let him snack on, but he was falling asleep. So I was like, okay, like you need something to wake you up. So this is what I am snacking on now because I have to consume over 2000 calories a day. So I'm going to snack on this Noka Superfood smoothie and then just some rich cheese crackers. And then the younger two have a cheese stick, some peanut butter crackers, and then some coconut rolls. And I like to give them stuff like this because the peanut butter and the cheese will fill them up. And then they like these, the coconut rolls, because they're sweet even though they're healthy. So this is what the other two will snack on. But yeah, I've just been editing tomorrow's video. You guys, I did have four hours of footage. I can't believe I'm already 40 minutes in, but I'm gonna have to figure something out because there's no reason I should be 40 minutes in and I still have like the videos almost two hours long. So I'm gonna have to figure out where I'm chopping stuff out. So we shall see you guys. But yeah, this is what I'm about to give the boys. Everybody running around crazy. Back with dinner, order some pizza from Papa. Then I also have to go to Dodger now to pick up some stuff for Ethan's homework. Mm. Yes, give it all to me. Yum. Pie Five, I feel, we have this place called Dion's, and I feel like Pie Five is a little bit better than Dion's, but they both bang. Ooh. Got this pizza, my little Zevia Cola, Ranchy Ranch, my boo, my kiddos. Hey guys, what's up? So today is Friday and it's been a crazy day um i woke up late because it was super hot last night because our ac froze up and then it just never cooled back down well it did eventually like and it's not snowing it did in the middle of the night but and then i woke up this morning and i turn up the air every single morning because we turn it down when we go to bed because it gets super hot or we, we like to sleep with it cold, I should say. And um, so I had turned it up this morning, like I do every morning, but then I noticed that it was never. So anyways, I noticed that it wasn't turning off, like it, it just wasn't turning off, period. And so I was like, okay, well, let me check it again. So I go and I look outside of our window and I look at the unit and I see that it has ice on it. So I'm like, okay, so I come in, I turn off the AC, I check the air filter, the air filter is brand new because I just changed it yesterday because it had froze yesterday. But so I go, so when I'm checking it, I look up and I notice that the pipes that come into the house to the AC unit are frozen. So I was just like, oh my goodness. So it, that was at 1130 that I discovered that. So I'm giving it till about 130. So it's been since like 1130, well, 11, 11, 1130 since I turned it off. So I'm giving it till 130 till I turn it back on because it is defrosted outside and it defrosted inside. But I'm just giving it that little bit more of extra time to make sure that it's completely defrosted, especially since it's not really that hot in the house, but I was able to film today. So I filmed this makeup look, which has literally been my go-to makeup look all flipping months. Like this has been what I go to for church. If Brian and I need to go somewhere, the only difference or change that I would make is I might pop on lashes and your girl might not. But um, I'm just trying to film as much as I can, especially since Ethan actually has a one hour break today between his classes um, other than his lunch. So I'm about to film my makeup collection video because I've been wanting to do that for a while and I need the good lighting because I'm not plugging in my filming lights because those make it way too hot. 
We're supposed to go out tonight with some friends as well. Sorry, I'm just trying to update you guys because today has been crazy. I didn't work out today, but I have lost another pound. So to now total since before my surgery back in June, 20, June 25th. So on June 22nd, I weighed 246 pounds. I am now down to 235 pounds um, since, so about two weeks ago, yeah, so from two weeks ago, in two weeks, I've lost, um, in two weeks, I've lost 1.5% of my body fat, I've gained 0.5% muscle, and I've lost one pound, which brings me to the 11 pounds of weight loss, but I've lost one pound. So two weeks ago, I was at 236, so I've lost one pound, 1.5% of body fat, and I've gained 0.5% of muscle, so I'm super excited about that, but I didn't work out today. I really need to let my body rest because next week is the week that I get back into the gym. And if Brian wants to go tomorrow, I'm just going to go ahead and start tomorrow because that's what I've been doing. But yeah, so we'll see you guys. But I'm going to go ahead and record my makeup collection video and then I'm going to edit. And then by then, Ethan, actually, I'm not going to edit today. I might edit tomorrow or later on tonight. But yeah, so we're going to go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and film my makeup collection video. All right, guys, I'm getting up. I'm about to try to turn this air on because it's just about 2 o'clock, so. It is now 80 degrees in here, so let's see if this will work, though. Room. Ethan's about to have to start class. I'm about to stick some food on the stove for me. I'm going to make me some ramen again because I was watching my vlog and it made me want ramen, so that's what I'm about to make me only... I'm switching it up a little bit. So, lunch, like I said, ramen, pot stickers, threw in some tuna, some green onions, and believe it or not, this is still less than 500 calories. So, yeah, super yummy. Hey, it was Fried food. Yeah. <laughs> There's only one by the <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, when I tell you guys that I'm kind of a terrible vlogger, it's because I kind of really am. So last night we ended up going on a double date with some friends. I ended up finding a sitter on care.com, which she actually turned out to be really good. So I'm going to keep using her to, for babysitting. Um, but we ended up going on that double date. I showed you guys the appetizers after they were gone. Forgot to show you guys the food once we got the food. And then we came home and we went to bed. Um, today we gotta go to Costco. I just finished mowing the lawn about an hour ago. So now I'm just about to make the boys some noodles. Look at Ethan, already getting lunch. Welcome, Mama. Thank you, Ethan. He's such a little butt munch. King, get out of there. Get out of there. Yes, I'm gonna make them some noodles. I drank my protein shake after I mowed the lawn, but I'm not feeling noodles today because I ate noodles yesterday. I don't know what I want for lunch, so. Let's just get this situated and get them some lunch. All right, King. All right, so I forgot I had leftovers from last night. So I just had some rice and some crab stuffed shrimp and some garlic bread. So that's what I'm gonna eat for lunch. Mm -hmm. So I have my little, now it looks so much better that I heated it up and mixed it around. But my shrimp and rice and crab and my lemon water and Time to start working. Came to Costco. Um, I got to eat. Didn't get to work at all because, like, as soon as I sat down to eat and work, Ryan called and was like, "Hey, I'm on my way home from the gym." It's like, "Oh, okay." He's like, "You ready to go?" I was like, um, "Eating." So I ate, and then now we're at Costco, you guys. But it's like crazy busy, and I think I'm pretty sure I saw a really long line for people to go inside Costco. So we may not do our Costco trip today, y'all. Or we may go to Walmart first and then come back over here. We shall see. We shall see. Bryson. Hi. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> They're so stinking cute. Hey guys, so it is now bedtime. We ended up not going to Costco because the line to get in was just insane and we were not going to wait with the boys to do that. So we just got gas from there and then we went to Walmart and then Walmart was insane and I have no freaking idea what's going on this weekend. But yeah, it was frustrating. So we went to Walmart, got some things that we we're going to have to get at Walmart anyways. And then I'm just going to go to Costco during the week. 
And then I left to go get food and then realized we forgot to grab a fan. So we got a new fan because the motor in our old one blew out. And then I did pick up a couple pairs or a couple packs of lashes because I need to get rid of some of mine. So I got my favorite lashes in 614 from Salon Perfect. And then I'm going to try these pre-permed push-ups in 671. So yeah, we are going to be trying these out. These are actually my favorite lashes, the 614s, but these I will be trying out for the first time. And then I do need to clean out my lashes and get rid of some really, really old pairs. So yeah, you guys. But that is it, you guys. I'm about to shower, even though I showered this morning after I mowed the lawn because it's just a habit for me to shower before bed. So that is it for this vlog, you guys. I will see you guys next week for next week's vlog. So if you did enjoy this, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Also, hit that subscribe button. And I will see you guys on Monday. Bye. I know I said yesterday that the vlog was over, but I went to Target today and I just wanted to, I don't know, share with you guys what I got. I was having a rough day today because this week was really, really heavy on me and I just felt like I had never got a chance to catch my breath. So needless to say, I had a mommy wife meltdown because you can sometimes go in this walk with God and wanting to be the mother and wife that God calls you to be and it gets discouraging when you're not getting the praise from your family but you have to remind yourself constantly that you're doing it because that's what God has called you to do and you're pleasing him but it doesn't mean that it's any easier to just go about it and keep pushing without ever even hearing a thank you and I'm not saying that Brian never says thank you. I'm just saying that this week was especially hard on the both of us. And so if he forgot to acknowledge me or anything, I understand that he had a hard day at work. But sometimes the enemy gets the best of our minds. And like I said, I had a mommy meltdown. So with all of that being said, I stormed out the house and I went to Target for an hour. And <laughs> I went to Target kid free and I got to look around and I strolled up and down every single flipping aisle and I told myself you know what I'm gonna go look at books because I'm almost done with my book and I'm gonna buy me a book but if you are looking for face masks and you've been struggling finding the cloth ones that people sell for buku's amount of money on Facebook and stuff like that well Target has two packs of them for four so I don't like to put a mask on King just because he's a baby and his lungs are still developing and so is his immune system. But sometimes Bryson and Ethan will ask to wear masks. So they have kids sizes in a two pack for four bucks. And then they also have adult sizes. So I got a pack for me and Brian, um, a two pack for four bucks. So if you've been struggling to find masks, I would say check out Target's little spot section, their um, Target circle section. So I got those, I got those, and then I was looking for books, and I told myself I was going to go find a book, and how crazy is it that I found this book called Grace Not Perfection, because as I said, I'm always trying to be the perfect wife and the perfect mom, and I get frustrated with myself when I feel like I'm not accomplishing that and then I get frustrated when I feel like I'm accomplishing that and nobody's acknowledging it if that makes sense so grace not perfection is what I need to tell myself and then I messed up our fire stick a while back and um Yeah, so I messed up our fire stick a while back, so I bought a new one today, and I'm going to surprise Brian with this as a as an apology for, sorry, for my psycho wife mom moment. So, <laughs> yeah, that's what we're going to do, but now I hope that you guys enjoyed this vlog and all of my craziness and me just being real with you about, I have mommy meltdowns too, I have wife meltdowns too, I have days where I feel very unappreciated and overworked, so... Yeah, just wanted to be real with you guys.